Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as Online Crime File Management System. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. As the name depicts, this project is going to deal with the crime files managing the crime files by the police department or by the law enforcement agencies so using this online crime file management system users can able to easily give their compliance or a witness can give their witness report or if they wanted to add a missing person or a child kind of details they can able to add it easily and the admin that is the police or the law enforcement agency can easily able to upload the information of the most wanted criminal so the user or the visitor can able to easily find out them so these are the things that will be showing in this execution part and this is project and uh, this is about the existing system which is used in the manual process of the paper based documentation and the disadvantages of the existing system like uh, using the manual and paper documentation system has various kinds of limitations those are mentioned in this disadvantages and this is about the proposed system of our proposed project and the advantages of the proposed system and in the system architecture you will be having the user and the admin so the ad user can able to log in and they can add the compliance or missing person or add witness report and in the admin part they can add miss uh, most wanted person details and fair details and they can able to see the compliance that is posted by the user so these are all the modules that is used in the project and this is the implementation that we have developed in java and the tool that we have used is netbeans ide 16 so now let us see the execution of the project so first open apache netbeans ide 16 so first you need to import the project into the apache ide so now just go to the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location where you can find the source code folder crime file management system just select this and then click open project now kindly wait till the project has been loaded into the netbeans part so meanwhile let us attach the database just go to the mysql administrator log in the mysql administrator with the credentials of username and password as root and root and click ok so now just select this restore option and then select this open backup file now again go to the source code location where you can find the database folder and select the database inside it and then click start restore so now you can see the message the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close so now you can close this mysql administrator part because we have successfully attached the database so now coming back to the netbeans part you can see the project is being loaded into the netbeans id so now let us execute the project so just right click it and then click run so now kindly wait till it has been transferred to the browser part Now Apache Tomcat is starting and as for the authentication I have given admin and admin as a username and password and click OK. So now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title online crime file management system. And here as discussed we have the entities user or visitor or admin under register part this is the registration part for the user so first if you uh, let me click the admin so it will be navigated to the admin login page so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and click login so now it will be navigated to the admin home page where you can see the details of compliance so you can see the compliance details so it is empty because the last time we are running the project so there is no any details in it and witness details here you can see the missing person details and add wanted criminal details and wanted view so everything is empty because that's first the first time we are running it so first let me register the user so first let me go to the register part so just if you click this register it will be navigated to the registration page where you can enter the name the details of the user or the visitors so first let me create a user called jp password jp jp at gmail.com 
the date of birth gender phone number state the country so i have created the user successfully the registration was successful click ok so now let me uh, create another user called xx password xx xx at gmail dot com uh, date of birth gender phone number state and register the details so it is registered successfully and so now let me go to the visitor part so first let me log in with the first user that i have created that is jp so just enter the username and password that you have created and click the login button so now you can see the login successful message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the user home page so here the user has the option of complaining add the complaint and add witness report missing person details wanted list edit the complaint so right now everything is empty because we are not done anything so first let me add a complaint in this user so the user name is jp and details of the suspect so if the details of the suspect is known you can just enter the detail of the suspect in case if it is not so let me type it as anonymous description my mobile was snatched in beach road so this is the complaint i'm giving and you can add the date and time from the calendar let me give today date that is 31 7 2023 and you can select the type of uh, the crime and then click the submit button so now you can see the complaint is added successfully message and click ok so now let me log out and go to the admin part so in the admin part if the admin clicks the complaint you can see the complaint posted by the user jp and details of the suspect is anonymous and uh, what is the description of the complaint what is the date and type and what is the type of the complaint has been updated here so here uh, i'll go to the visitor now so this time i will log in with the other user that we have created that is xx and logins successfully and this time this access goes to the witness report so here the, he is updating the witness report as uh, what is the suspect name so suspect name is updating as uh, for example Alice so informer name is XX and informal address uh, let me type it as Chennai description I saw him stealing mobile and you can enter the date or the report let that today and then click submit so now you can see info more info is added successfully message and click ok so now let me log out and go to the admin part so if you go to the witness part you can see the witness detail that has been uh, updated right now by the in, yeah, person xx so you can see the suspect name is alice an informal name an informal address and informal details and kinds of thing and now let me log out so now let me uh, register some other user called yy and enter the date of birth gender phone number state country and click register so now registration is success now let me go to the login page so now let me go to the yy user and login with the credentials and now this time i'll go to the missing baby or person so now let me enter the person name as yy so missing place pondicherry beach 
missing date help me enter today missing district i help me as pondicherry sex as male so age as 10 weight as uh, 40 height as 100 briefcase I missed my son in beach today. Address of missing Pondicherry Beach. So date of report does also today. So you, if you have some images of the person, you can just select the image and you can enter it and then click submit. So now you can see the missing person details has been sent successfully and click OK. So now let me log out and go to the admin part and go to the missing details. So just you can see missing person details is now updated to the admin part. So once if the official of the police or the legal person can able to uh, create an FIR, so just click this FIR. So now once if they click you can see add a fire report the details whatever given is being shown here so here they can update the fir number so let me enter the fir number as one two three five four six and they can select the act like murder or kidnap kind of thing so let me click kidnap and then click submit so now you can see the fir has been added successfully message So now in the we have seen three different users and the three different process that is one is compliance and second is witness and third one is missing person. Now let me show you the other part that is the wa adding wanted criminal. So that means the police official can able to do this so that the users or visitors can able to view the details of the who is the most wanted criminal accordingly they can able to inform the police. So now let me enter the criminal name as Ra. For example, I'm giving this and age as 50, weight as 175, height as 175, sorry. And uh, Ra is most danger. kidnapper let me type this type of brief of case and then you can select kidnap and let me select an image for this raw person and then click submit so now you can see most wanted details have been added successfully and click ok so now the admin can able to view what all the detail that has been updated in this most wanted details and the other part is visitor whoever the visitors log in they can able to see so first let me go to the user jp and then see the wanted list you can see the most wanted details so this will be viewed to all the users so now let me log in with the xx so here you can see the most wanted details has been shown to all the users so that easily they can able to find it out and uh, the visitors the user part has the other option of uh, they can able to edit the complaint so just click this edit complaint so you can see the complaint that is already posted by jp is the detail of the suspect description date and type of crime so in case if they know the name of the uh, suspect so they can enter as raw for example i'm giving and then click edit so now you can see the complaint is edited successfully so in case if the admin views the complaint just go to the compliant you can see the detail of the suspect is being now updated to raw so now we have seen all the options like compliant witness missing person add uh, wanted criminal and wanted view option so now let me log out and this is all about the project online crime file management system using java and thank you for watching